What's up, YouTube? Uh, Craig here. RC Lifestyle 845. Sorry, I haven't made some videos in a while. It's been busy with the new baby and all. But, uh, this is the Emax I got. I got this as a roller. And, uh, missing quite a thing, quite a few things it was missing. But, uh, if you have a Emax, uh, these are the uh, VG Racing set that I picked up, eight of them, the springs, uh, it's the Hobby Wing Max 8, uh, it's a Max 8 combo here, uh, these are springs in the back, these are great springs though, let's see, uh, where's the light at on this phone? Oops, I don't know what I just did. Oops, that's too bright. That's about good. But, uh, yeah, I got this as a roller. I got a 2075 servo in there. Well, this ain't it. This is it right here. This is a Metal Gear servo I got. I haven't looked up yet. This is the, uh... Hot Racing Spur and Pinion. As you can see, I don't know if it's going to focus. But, uh, sorry for the bad video quality. These are the uh, Big Joe 2s. Hi, babe. I love you. I got to get the. Uh, Hot Racing Drive Shafts. I'll get those soon. Probably another month. I got the uh, RPM Shock Tower. They got them coming in. And I got the RPM uh, front and rear bulkheads coming in. They're fairly cheap. I picked both of them up, I think, for like 27 bucks. I also got the front bumper coming in. I didn't order the back one yet. I have to order it. But these, as you see... I haven't ran this yet. When I got this, there was no dirt in it whatsoever in this roller. Look at the bumper. The bumpers on them ain't even scratch. Not one scratch. You know, I got it with the regular with the regular black Emacs A arms, and I upgraded. You see, I got the front, it's RPM, and all that. And the back is the True Track. I got the RPM front and rear bolts, front and rear shock towers coming in. Uh, yeah, but look, I'll show you. Look how clean this is. Not one scratch was on this. See that? How clean that is? I, of course, got the screws, the RC screws in here. As you see, I converted it into uh, stainless steel. But uh, not one scratch was on this. Not one. It was clean. It was a clean, clean roller. I'm saying he never even used it. Look at it. The bulkheads and these are fine, but I'm just going to upgrade it. I'm running uh, these right here. Two of these. The uh, Zop. Three cell. 11.1 volt. 5200 mile. And they fit in there pretty good. It didn't even have the battery straps. So those are coming in today as long as the bulkheads. So I got those coming in. Didn't even have any of this up here on it. None of this. All that I had to buy. It, oh, I got these on here too. The, uh, the Traxxas uh, links. Right here, you see? They got something on them. It says something on the bottom of them. But uh, these things is beefy. Pretty, pretty beefy. Uh... Wanted to show you these right here if you have an Emacs. Uh, these are the Emacs, T Max, Revo, anything that has a 14 millimeter. Hold on, I gotta connect this real quick.
I use this. I don't know about you other folks that use the mother wrenches. I use it one of these. Put right on there. And it works fine. There's no extra shit. These are hot racing. And then after you get that, you just take this right off of there. And you're good to go. And this goes right there and take that off. These are 17 millimeter adapters from uh from hot racing. You see hot racing. But uh these are this is wider. It's 10 millimeters wider all the way around. Because that's what I ordered. Wheel off of this These are the 10 millimeter hot racing 17 millimeter hex adapters for the 14 millimeter drive shaft. And uh, this is it right here. There you go. See, 10 millimeter. It's a little bit better. See, I got the hot racing on there. It, these right here actually work pretty well. I got these hot racing things from my friend. And he did this, so I'm going to order blue ones. And I had to order drive shafts. That's the, the train. Ninja Turtle power! Comment below who's your favorite turtle. Comment below. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo. Who's your favorite? But, uh... Thanks for watching, and uh, comment below. Thanks, and have a blessed day.